We're back at Cinegear and I'm at Lightgear together with Sean Goosen. It only, it's just one S. Uh, and he's going to show me something that uh, Lightgear just announced and that's Spectrum, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so tell me. Light, light Matte Spectrum. So uh, if you're familiar with our existing product line, Light Matte Plus, Light Matte S2, uh, this just kind of builds on that. So uh, as far as the white light goes, you don't lose anything in terms of output. Um, still the same amount of white emitters, still the same output, still the same type of emitter, so all the same color space. Uh, but what we've done is, I don't know if you can see in there, um, and I'll dim it down a little bit, um, but we've added red, green, blue, and amber emitters in addition to the set of tungsten and daylight emitters. So now when we, uh, when we actually go for our white light, um, is this, I don't know if this is too bright, but I'll keep it down a little bit. But um, now we've extended our Kelvin range from instead of 2600 Kelvin to 6200 Kelvin. Now it goes 2000 Kelvin all the way to 11,000 Kelvin. And if you're familiar with the CIE chart and, and, and the Planckian curve, this is what we call true hybrid. So it actually follows the Planckian curve. So you don't get any more, oh, it's a little too green, it's a little too magenta. But if you do, uh, we've added a little tint, uh, a tint value, so you, now you can actually add plus and minus green. So you can correct it to your needs, and, it, and, and the way we've mapped this is it actually follows the Aerial XL white balance uh, uh, capabilities. So 2,000 to 11,000 with full plus and minus green. But once you select your white, so let's just say you know around 3,200, uh, let's go, yeah, tungsten, and then now you go ahead and you pick your color. So once you pick your white, now you pick your color, and this goes all the way through the spectrum, just kind of like any, every other multicolor fixture you've seen. Um, but what we've done is we've added uh, that amber chip, and it's what we—it's a thing we call magic amber. So it's really great for reproducing yellows and like recreating sodium vapor or whatever it may be. But um, we felt that adding that amber in between the red and the green really helps to reproduce like a lot more colors that we couldn't necessarily get without it. So that's all good. But once you recreate, once you get the color you want, now when you desaturate, you've you've got your white you've got your color, but when you desaturate, you're gonna desaturate with that targeted white light that you have. So when you desaturate now, you're actually adding in white light. So it's a full spectrum white, so it'll reproduce all the colors, hopefully pretty faithfully on camera. That's kind of the gist of it. That's really the heart of it. Um, but uh, one thing that we've added to it and, and something that we're quite proud about and we hope really kind of comes through, but you can uh, select uh, which camera you're using or which color space you're in. So if you're shooting on the uh, Aria Mira or the Alexa or Sony Venice or whatever camera it is, hopefully we've done our homework and we've actually tailored the light output to match that color, that camera's sensitivity. So if that camera sees red slightly differently than another camera or slightly differently than our eye, now when you look at the monitor, don't worry about what's happening in front of your eyes, look at the monitor, and now you'll actually see what you were hoping and expecting to be that red. So that's what we've done. Um, fully pixel mappable though, uh, a light tile, a light mat one has one pixel, a light mat eight has eight pixels. Um, we're sending power and data over to the cable now, so now you can do 200, 300 foot runs of cable in between your ballast and your fixture without really any incident. Um, no line loss, no weird color shifts or anything like that. Uh, we can send software updates over email now or over a thumb drive. We haven't really hammered that part of it out. Uh, but the system can be fully wireless. It has built-in wireless DMX, wired DMX. Uh, you can use uh, camera batteries like Anton's or block battery or any V-mount stuff, anything like that. Um, or you can go AC, universal AC. So we're trying to really get uh, a lot of flexibility and versatility and portability into filmmakers hands so that they can be great and do what they do without having to drag a bunch of cable around and that's, that's about it yeah yeah well thanks thank you thank you yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>